It's a track stop a beat y'all YouTube. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is you guys are watching this video. Track stop it back at y'all with another one. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in to 808s and Kicks. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, the past few days we've been having a lot of um, drops on GOAT, like the Black Friday drops. And I'm just pulling it up right now on my phone. Uh, it's been ugly, guys. It's been extremely ugly. Uh, Black Friday 2023 has been ugly for goat uh i don't even know if i've seen anybody post their wins on um on twitter because i go on twitter a lot and check like sneaker twitter and stuff see what people are saying and talking about on there you know and i just posted a video earlier today and i was cleaning up you know moving stuff around in my sneaker room you know got sneakers i need to clean and stuff like that and i was just looking at you know looking at this black friday stuff as i'm moving sneakers around and i'm just like dang you know every drop has been just straight up trash like you go in the way this thing works you have tickets so there's like a trivia that way you can you can click on to get more tickets and it asks you certain questions about like fashion stuff like that and you know depending on how many you get right considering if you do a good job in it then it'll grant you tickets tickets that you can use to enter into certain drops and stuff um with certain sneakers not even just sneakers they have like uh um sneakers uh hats jackets uh even bags all type of stuff that they drop in you know for black friday and if you're lucky enough when you get in there so like you will spend your tickets it'll tell you the drop is at a certain time and you know you will try to pretty much cop whatever sneaker they drop in for like a crazy crazy you know below retail price you know so you think you got a chance to get in a deal on stuff and really it's not even happening like it's it's just been bad like you know a lot of people were saying that they think they you know the bots is eating the bots is eating and stuff and um i'm gonna i'm gonna post i'm gonna post up here you know uh what goat said goat actually made a post yesterday on their twitter and it says we, we apologize for the inconvenience on today's drops. We are resolving technical issues. These drops will be rescheduled and we will soon share an updated schedule shortly. You will not lose your tickets for these drops. Thank you for playing BF23 and stay tuned for updates. Come on now. Y'all believe that? I haven't hit nothing. I've went, I've, I've joined into like maybe three, four different drops. Red Octobers, a couple of pairs of Yeezys and it was like the ray gun dunks you know and i ain't got jack not a not a thing you know and it's fine like if i don't get it I, that's fine but it's one of those things like you know you, as soon as the, the the time it'll be a timer clicking down letting you know when the, the drop is about to start and then you know it'll tell you click and hold on the image so you can enter the drop right so you do that and then hurry up and click whatever size you're trying to get and then it'll be like okay you're in the, you're in the, you're in the queue well you know you won't be you won't be charged unless you know you you know you, you you win that or whatever you know and uh it's just been just just bad i honestly don't think most people are hitting on this some people saying that bots is hitting on this um somebody tweeted saying doesn't matter they sent out tweets they sent out notifications saying they were sold out 20 seconds before the drop happened super bogus which is pretty interesting right another person said this is by far way worse way this is by far the way this is i can't even talk right now <laughs> it says this is by far way the worst 
Black Friday event they have had. There was stuff worth going after and that you could actually hit on in the years past. This year is a complete fail. They might be right. Because I actually seen people hitting in previous years, you know. Another, another guy said, it's so bad I can't even get a pair of bricks. All I got was a $5 hat and $10 gold credit. Y'all think y'all think the GOAT app is really trolling us, y'all? I would love to know what you guys think. Drop some chit chat in the comment box and let me know. Do y'all really think the GOAT app is trolling us? To 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 kind of like draw more people into their app, you know? Cause let's be real, the sneaker, the sneaker, the sneaker market is really down right now. A lot of sneakers on not just GOAT, but StockX is going for below retail. You know? Um Somebody tweeted saying, don't give up. I see manual users copying. I have not seen nobody cop unless it just ain't been nobody on my timeline. I haven't seen anybody cop. Um, yeah, GOAT needs to hit out the, uh, figure out the hidden situation. You guys get the gist of things. But I don't know. I just, it's just an interesting topic that I wanted to discuss with you guys or just bring up in this video. Do y'all really think GOAT is trolling us? You know, is that like their way of drawing more people to the app and thinking that they're gonna hit something, and if they don't hit something, they still spending money in the app. And the reason I say that is because not only do they just do drops with tickets and stuff that you have, but they're also doing auctions. And the auctions that they're doing is on a lot of expensive stuff. Like yesterday, they had, um, I want to say they did the, uh, like a Louis, the Louis, yeah, right here, Louis Vuitton Air Force One. Come on, y'all. Y'all know them Louis Vuitton Air Force Ones do not sell for chump change. We talking about 30,000 30, to 45,000. That's a lot of money, man. That's just me. You got a Saint Laurent jacket, estimated price, 5,000 to $8,000. Let's see what else they got. Next up, Cartier Tank Solo Steel, estimated price, 2,000 to 4,000. Let me know what y'all think, man. Seriously. I think that's GOAT way of drawing people to the app. You don't hit on nothing. And they're trying to get you to, to get into their auctions and stuff. If somebody got some insight on this, somebody got, you know, some info or just your opinion, please let me know. But I'm not going to hold y'all. I just wanted to give my opinion on this thing. I feel like Ghost Black Friday 2023 is just horrible. It's, it's straight up horrible, you know? Let this be a lesson to go that they need to do better for the next year's Black Friday. If they do do one, who knows, man. But other than that, I'm not going to hold you guys. I'm going to keep this thing moving. Stay blessed, stay fresh. Love your loved ones like us know tomorrow. Until then, I will see you guys very, very soon on the next one. Peace.